Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here for another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a realistic uh, copper material. Now, a copper material, um, it's a bit harder to make than a normal metal just because if the colors are even slightly off, it just looks really bad. Um, so, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that now. So, uh, yeah. So, start by adding an octane material. We're going to call it copper. We're just going to uh, apply to our object here. And basic, I'm going to set it to a uh, glossy material index one for all metals and uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the diffuse so an RGB spectrum for the diffuse diffuse we're going to set it to um, 13 oops sorry 13 for the top one 58 for the middle one and 68 for the bottom one okay like that we'll grab another one plug it into the specular I'm gonna uh, go ahead and for the hue, I'm gonna use 13 as well again. Saturation, we're gonna use 58. And the value, sorry, 80 for the last one, and we should be actually using 39 for this one, sorry. 39, there we go. And already, you know, it looks okay. Um, but we need to actually grab a flow texture here. Roughness. And this doesn't look, you know, I mean, it looks good, it looks good. Um, but we're going to grab our octane settings here. Make sure you set it to path tracing. Uh, it will brighten it a bit. So maybe you do want to... Let's see here. Maybe you do want to grab your... Let's see your index. You can use either an index of 8 or 1. Usually 1 works best. They're very similar, but... Um, you guys can do that. And if it's not looking too great... Maybe decrease this to 75. I'd say that looks pretty good. Yeah, good enough. Um, but we can actually make this a bit better. So we can go ahead and grab ourselves a gradient. And um, we can make it a bit more realistic. This is very basic and works fine. But we're going to add a little Fresnel. So uh, RGB spectrum, we're going to plug into the start. We're going to make this a complex. Delete both ends of the gradient. Set in there. Start okay. The RGB spectrum, we're gonna grab an end just I guess I can just be white, whatever. And then we're gonna grab a fall off, so we're gonna fall off node to the input. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now I'll show you the difference is very subtle. If you just look on the edges, once reflecting just right on the edges, and I'm just gonna demonstrate here the difference. You can see this kind of white here. I'm gonna get on the layer render for a second. Okay, so render buffer. And you can see here. It's uh it's slightly different. You can see it's um it's actually brighter on the edges. So this is without and this is with. So it's brighter on the edges. I think we actually want to do it the other way around. Um I'm gonna invert this. Grab an invert, fall off. I think that is what we want. Okay, so let me just compare here. Plug in that. Maybe we do not want an invert. Okay, that looks uh, looks pretty good, I'd say. So you tweak the skew factor. That's too much. Maybe eight. And there we go. I'll store render buffer. Again, I'll, I'll just show you guys the comparison here. Just so you know the difference what the Fresnel is doing. Um, you can see it's not doing too much to the center color here, but at the edges, Especially here, it's it's uh, it's brightening it a bit, and that is realistic. So that is that. That's what the Fresnel does, um, and that's pretty much it. That's um, you're done with your material there. Copper material looks pretty realistic, I'd say. And uh, yeah, you can use this in all your renders. It's um, pretty basic material, so you know it's not going to take forever to render. It's not like subsurf scattering or anything like that. But um, yeah, anyway, that's that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, have a good day, everyone. Bye.